Okay. So then I would uh, go on with um, n-step learning, n-step TD. So basically, we want to interpolate between Monte Carlo and one-step TD now. The idea is um, we, we are doing a whole experience. So let's say we have a maze here, which has uh, no rewards everywhere except at this um, G, which gives us a high reward. And we explore randomly around until we get to G. And if we then do a, an update with Sarsa, we only update the state that was before G, because only there we got a TD error. Everywhere else there were no rewards, so no learning happens there. But actually, we want to learn something from the path we took before we got to that state before G, because usually that path before uh, led to us getting to G. So we want to learn from that as well. And um, the idea is to learn over more than just one time step with TD learning. So for example, if we take 10 steps ARSA, we can update the 10 uh, previous states before receiving this TD error. Um, okay, and it is an interpolation between Monte Carlo methods and one-step TD in the sense, let me just draw this up. So in TD0, we, um, for the update, we use only the next step and reward. So we have the current state, uh, the next state, and oops, um, an action in between. And that's what we use for the update. In Monte Carlo methods, we have the other extreme. We take uh, this state, the next state, the state after the next state, the state after that, uh, until uh, we get to the terminal state of this episode. Um, okay, and in between are, of course, actions again. And we use all of this to, um, to make our update. And uh, let's find some middle ground between this. So um, what would be if we do TD learning, but over two steps? So oh, let me write it like, oops. Two step TD. So we take the current state, the next state, and the state after the next state. Then we can use uh, ad additional information to use our to make our update, and we can generalize this into n-step TD, which uses yeah steps uh, until uh, step n state n. Okay. Um, so we use the next n steps to update our value estimate. And yeah, this is then kind of a mix between TD and Monte Carlo, but it's still a TD method because it updates earlier estimates based on how they differ from later uh, estimates. So it still uses a TD error. And we can smoothly shift between what is needed for the task. Okay, so um, to do this, we need to um, define an n-step return. So the one-step return we already know. Uh, it's the reward at the next time step times the discount factor of the value estimate of the next state. Okay, that was the the first part in our TD error equation. Okay, the two-step return would be the next reward plus gamma times the, the reward after that plus gamma squared times the value estimate of the state after the next state. Okay, and now let's generalize this to the n-step return. Um, that would then be, okay, uh, again, reward at the time step after the next time step, plus and so on, until we have gamma to the power of n minus 1 times the reward at time t plus n, plus gamma to the power of n times the value estimate of uh, time t plus n minus one of state 
t plus n. So the uh, of this state here, the value estimate of this state. And up until the, this state, we can use the, all the rewards we received. Okay, so now we look uh, at the next end state rewards uh, to determine the return and then update um, the value function using this with the end step value update. So we basically just put, yeah, here, this, oops, wrong color, um, yeah, this end step return into this TD error function. Before with td0, we just use the one step return here. Same formula. This again is the td error. Okay, we just use the end step return now instead of the one step return. Okay. Um, I wrote down that I have an exercise here. Let's see. Okay, oh yeah, that's a short one. After how many steps can we make the first value update in n step td? Uh, those are four options, zero, one, n, or t is the terminal state. Um, just This should just take one minute, decide for one answer, and then come back here. Um, so the answer to the question is n, if you got it right, give yourself a point. And why is n the answer? Uh, so the value can only be computed after n steps because we need um, the reward at st uh, step t plus n and computation of the value, this, this value here for the t plus n um, state. And uh, to compensate for that, we perform n extra updates after the end of the episode. So. Um, okay, so to be able to update this state, uh, we need to be able to calculate the end step return. And for the end step return, we need all the rewards that were uh, received up until state Sn. So we need until reward t plus n. That's why we need to take all these steps first before we can update this state. And then uh, after um, termination, we add n steps um, to it to compensate. Okay. Can I ask one quick question? Yeah. Um, couldn't I already start after one step to start updating? Because if I just leave out um, sort of the end following step after the first step and start updating, isn't that possible as well? Um, after the first step, you could only calculate the one step return. So this one, because you only have uh, RT plus one, but you can't calculate uh, the end step return where you need all these uh, future returns up until t plus n. Okay, yeah, so it can't calculate for the end step, but I could... St so I, if I want to update the end step, I move to n and then update all the others beforehand. Yeah, exactly. So you could do a one step update after one step, but you couldn't do an end step update. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Sure. And I also have a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it's a stupid one. I think you said it, but so if I do if I do n steps, do I only update the state I started in, or do I update all the states on the way? Um, you update. So basically, after n steps, you update this uh, first step. Then you take the next step. Uh, here, oops. Why am I drawing drawing a zero? Um, uh, Sn plus one, and then you can update this state because now okay, you can yeah. calculate the end step return for that one, uh, and so on. Okay. So you always look uh, end steps into the future, kind of, or end steps backwards for the updates. But I, I'll come to the pseudocode, and then it uh, might get a little clearer. Okay, and then and and then of course we can do the same thing with um, q values, uh, just replacing the v values with q values and adding um, action in there. Okay, let's do a um, pseudocode and that's the last thing we'll do before the break. Um, so we initialize, so this is end step star, so of course the same thing can be done for other things like end step uh, q, um, yeah, and other variations and, and stuff expected, and so on. 
Okay, so we initialize uh, Q values um, and an epsilon greedy policy. And then we set uh, the step size to a value between zero and one. We set n bigger zero. So if we uh, set it to one, we have TD zero. Um, we, let's say we set it, I don't know, to five or so, we always set five ahead. And then um, we set an epsilon bigger zero for our epsilon greedy policy. Okay, um, we initialize a starting state, we select an action from the policy pi, um, and we set a big T to infinity because we don't know yet uh, when the terminal state will appear. Okay, and then we go uh, through time steps T, um, and if uh, T is smaller than the terminal state, we take an action, uh, observe a reward, and the next state. And if the next state is terminal, we set a uh, big T to um, time step T plus one. Um, otherwise, we select a next action from the next state using the policy. Okay, and then we uh, define this tau. And uh, tau in this case is now uh, the time whose estimate is being updated. Um, and if tau is bigger zero, we have made n, time, n steps in the environment, we can start updating. Um, so uh, we update the um, discounted return, which in this case is now um, the sum over uh, from i equals tau plus n to uh, the min between tau plus n and the terminal state. Um, we need to uh, distinguish if we are past the terminal state or before it still. Um, and then the sum over the discounted uh, reward, so discount to the power of i minus tau minus one um, times the reward at time step i. So we calculate the sum of discounted returns, which is the end step return now. And then if uh, tau plus n is uh, smaller than uh, big T, so if uh, we are not at the terminal state yet, if we look n steps ahead, um, we add to this um, discounted return the gamma to the power of n times the Q value of state tau plus n, so n steps into the future, and the action n steps into the future. Okay, and then we update the q value of, of tau, state uh, the state that we want to update right now, um, which is the old q value, plus the step size times uh, the discounted return that we just calculated here, um, minus the Q value of the state that we are updating and the action that we are updating at that time step. Okay, so basically this is the difference to TD0, that we uh, look n steps into the future to calculate the discounted return and not just one step into the future. Um, we add the Q value to this if we're not past the terminal state yet, and then we put this into uh, the calculation of the TD error. Um, okay, that's n step salsa, doing TD zero for n steps. Um, if you have any more questions, go ahead. Uh, otherwise, we go into a lunch break.